Hello everyone. Once again, this is Dare to Speak. Um, I've been taking a few days of rest from my last incident when uh, my foot started to bleed from the bad reaction from this medication that he injected into my foot. So, I ended up going to the hospital. I went through hell, kind of, you know, but I'm okay, no big deal. I checked my, my mail, my comment section, you know, for any uh, comments from any of my videos. <laughs> and I came across someone who was a serious, serious hater. And I'm used to people saying bad things about me, you know, saying that I'm an idiot, I don't know what I'm talking about. And most of it has to do with me putting down Christianity and the whole concept of God saying that he doesn't exist as well as Satan. And if, he do, if Satan does exist, he would be the good guy. I'm the person who does my research very well. And there's some atheists and agnostics that actually back me up. I mean, if you want to say something, if you want to uh, make a debate against me, then don't be so insulting. I mean, I don't cuss at people back, calling them names and just like going all schoolyard and stuff like that. But this one particular person didn't seem to get the message. And this person is called, her name is from what I got from the comment section. Her name is Shannon Patton. And she had the audacity to call me a child molester. And this is what she said. I wrote it down from her. She actually said this in her comment section. You need to have your dick cut off. You child, you know, saying all this, calling me a, a chomo, child molester, all because she got offended from this one video that I said that, that was entitled, Pedophiles Are Born That Way. And I explained why scientifically. She didn't like it. Obviously, she's probably some sort of a radical feminist and a stupid Jesus lover, so. And then this other person named YOLO, whatever was like, kind of like backing her up, saying, I fantasized about killing a pedophile. He kind of looks like this guy. I look like some sort of a rapist or some kind of whatever a weirdo or some kind of creep. And you belong in jail with the rest of the chomo. And for me, putting down... Well, I wasn't putting down, actually. I was kind of giving my review on Passion of the Christ. And according to Shannon... She said that God is going to show you the lake of fire. And, and she's actually trying to warn people not to watch my channel. He's putting down Jesus. He's putting down God. That I'm trying to promote atheism. He's a child molester. He's a fat, lazy slob. All sorts of barrage of insults. First of all, if you don't like me, if you don't like what I'm saying... You could say what you could say what you want as far as debates, but but don't go as far as to insult me and say things that are not true. 
If you want to say that I'm a fat, lazy slob, that I'm... Okay, fine. Say what you want. Have fun with it. I don't give a shit. I mean, at, at least at least I admit that I have struggled that I, that I have struggled with my weight. I am making slow progress. I'm cutting down on soda and stuff like that, and I'm starting to improve slowly but surely. But I'm starting to improve. I couldn't care less about that. But don't call me a pedophile or child molester. And they start making jokes saying that I lurk around, you know, preschools or, or daycare centers or that, I, that I'm on the prowl or some shit like that, that I have because, because I have that look of one. All because you didn't like what I said about pedophiles being born that way. She's, and she's saying people don't listen, don't, don't watch his channel. He's, he's actually protecting pedophiles. He's defending them. If you actually look, any of you, if you, any of you look at my channel on my video that's entitled Pedophiles Are Born That Way, I wasn't trying to actually defend anybody. I'm just giving a, a scientific informative information, an argument that that's clearly says they are genetically born that way. They didn't choose to be that way. So obviously what this stupid lady is trying to say that um, obviously she's one of those Christian fundamentalists. She has to be. And if you really know the true message of Jesus, and I even said this before in more than one video, this is what he really said. The kingdom of heaven is within you and whoever knows himself shall find it. And then those words over the years got twisted and changed and modified into whoever knows uh, knows me or only could or anything about himself being looked at as a god and someone like this Shannon Patton actually bought into that bullshit. Look, I'm there to speak. I'm the person who actually dares to, to be bold and say whatever I feel that I believe is true, that I have the right to say. And here you are making comments and you don't even show a picture of yourself. Or do, you know what? Why don't you, why don't you just do a video criticizing me and see how many people support you? Why don't you do that for once? Why don't you just stop being a coward? Because only a coward would make comments and try to hide. I'm not hiding. I'm saying what I want. I even went as far to even tell her, why don't you look at one of my videos called The Holy Bible is Evil and Dangerous? And I actually went as far as to rip the Bible pages saying it's a corrupted, you got to... This is a, it's a fucking bullshit book. The Bible is bullshit and I started ripping the pages. And I was doing that in a form of protest. I dare you to watch that. If you don't want to watch it, that's fine. You don't have to. But don't be making accus accusations against someone unless you have proof. What kind of proof do you have that I'm a child molester, that I'm some kind of pedophile? Don't talk shit. Don't talk out of your ass. That's all I'm saying. If you really want to back up what you're saying, have the balls to do a video and explain and argue your side of the story. Don't be telling people not to watch. I mean, of course, they're not going to listen to you anyway. I mean, there's nothing you, there's nothing you can do to, to actually prove me wrong. And if you can, I dare you to, 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 even, to at least try to prove me wrong. Don't call somebody a pedophile unless you have some sort of proof. So basically, just don't talk out of your ass. So with that being said, again, 
just to let you know, because I'm, because I'm not, I'm not afraid to say it. The Bible is bullshit. I'm not gonna burn in a lake of fire like you said. And I didn't put down this this movie. I said it was a very good drama. It was very entertaining. It was a very good drama. I didn't get emotional like, oh my god, you know, they're hurting Jesus and crying like a little bitch. It's just a movie. Yes, it was. Yes, there were some parts that were emotional, obviously. I even said that in my video, but I didn't put down Jesus. I didn't put down or make fun or anything or poke any kind of fun to uh, be extremely mean. I get, actually gave a very good, uh, very convincing review. At least I think. So if you're gonna criticize somebody and they even go as far as to accuse of some, accuse somebody of. Uh, being a pedophile. Try to prove it. Don't be spreading lies about somebody. And this other guy named Yola, whatever, what is a stupid ass name. If you want to talk shit, do a video and try to prove me of what you think I am. That's all I have to say. And, you know, I'm sure there's people out there that will agree with me as well as disagree with me. I don't care. All of, the only thing, in conclusion, stop being a coward. If you really think what you say that I am, then prove it. Otherwise, shut the fuck up. Plain and simple. This is there to speak, and to all of you, take care.